In this tutorial we are going to do projection modeling with the help of simple image we will create the 3d object so you need to add the image as a plane make sure that export image add-on should be on then browse your image so here is the image of the remote just you need to go to the shader view and then go to the edit mode so you can see the image and now you need to start to edit that image so that's why you can add the loop cuts like this so add the loop cuts according to your image means we need to trace the image with the loop cuts and we need to create the 3d model from the image so it is the projection mapping or projection mapping it is a projection technique which used to create the 3d objects and as well as it used to project like a videos and other graphics on a 3d surface so in the projection mapping we can use that image as a texture for the 3d model just we need to align the uvs in a such a manner so we can use that image as a texture to build a large scene, then buildings, landscape, environments, we can use this modeling method or projection mapping technique. So that's why this projection mapping is a very useful technique. Many concept artists and then environment artists also use this technique. And we can use this for the modeling also. You can see here I have added one image because when I will use the loop tool here then I will mess up that texture. So that's why I have added the reference image at the background. So I can get guide from that reference image and I can build my asset. So that's why you need to add the reference image, similar reference image at the background of your model so you can see that image and you can build your model because when we will use this loop tool and this kind of modeling method or we will move these edges then we will face a little bit difficulty because uh, that texture will get displaced so that's why we will face the difficulty so that's why you need to add the one reference image at the background of the same model then you can start to work on it and just you need to use the same simple modeling methods and you need to create the model that's not difficult but with this we can create the model in a faster way so if you watch the tutorials of the Ian Herberts or its films, then he used this method to create his large scene. So you can adjust the opacity of the reference image, so you will get the good guide. Make sure in the projection mapping technique, you should have the high res images. If the resolution is very less, then you can't use this method in a very well manner because we use that image as a texture. So that's why we should have the high res images. Next thing, you can use this method when you want to create a large scene means your object is not in a sharp focus means you don't want a micro details of the model in that case you can use this method later on we will uv unwrap the model and then go to the uv editor and you can see here are the uvs of the model so we can use the project from view to uv unwrap this model so this is the simple way to give the texture because if we uv unwrap by adding the seams we will face difficulty we need to add the seams that's right but we can uv unwrap the model means with the help of projection method so that's pretty useful thing so that's why we need to select these faces and then just move them like this in a uv editor and you can add the seams at there then you need to go to the shading tab and create a new texture and give it the texture name that remote texture and bring that image the texture and just connect it to the base color like this and you can see we are getting the right textures but we need to assign those uvs in a proper way as per the texture as per the image so that's like a little bit tax so you can do this So what you need to do, you need to select the faces like this and then increase the selection and just move those UVs of the same images and just assign those UVs at the proper place. You need to give the proper place to these UVs and adjust their scale. So in this way you can easily texture your model and you can save your time.
In this way you can create your 3D models with the help of image projection and you can reduce your time and you can build the large scene in a faster way. This is the very good method to model your assets. So thanks for watching. If you like this tutorial then hit that like button and subscribe our YouTube channel. Bye bye. So in the next video take care.